in the latest is not much has changed, but that's what they want. They are having the National Guard stand around the Capitol. Uh, the governor has okayed a large number of Washington state troopers to be here. The goal being things are going to run smoothly as the legislative session starts this uh, starts today. Essentially, the House is set to start their session at noon today. So they are standing guard. They have been there since yesterday. And WSP tells us if we come knocking on their door tomorrow and say that this was overkill, they know that this was a success. They're trying to send a message to people looking to come out here and cause problems that that's not going, uh, that's not going to work. This is going to happen and it's going to, the democratic process is going to move forward uh, safely and securely. So who can go into the Capitol building today? Well, it's closed because of COVID for most people. That's the first part. Lawmakers, staff members, law enforcement are going to be allowed inside. But there is a fence around a lot of the Capitol campus, including the Capitol steps. There are National Guard members standing at the base of those Capitol steps. So you're not going to be allowed anywhere near there. But the argument is some are saying you, they're deterring people from being able to assemble on the Capitol campus. There are still acres where people can assemble and protest and, and demonstrate if they so choose to. So they are keeping an eye out for demonstrations on both sides of the spectrum. They are hoping those demonstrations do not clash. If they do, the National Guard could get involved, but they are pretty sure people are going to come out here today for some kind of demonstration. Important to note, much of what's happening at the Capitol today is going to be virtual. Still, they expect people out here looking to have their voices heard. They just hope it remains peaceful. Live in Olympia, Callie Greenberg, King 5.